Hello everyone, welcome to the Sat Race Reacts. Chris Wilder has left Sheffield United after five memorable years during which he propelled them from League One to the Premier League. We're going to give our reaction and look at the latest odds to replace him. But first, please do like and subscribe the page and stay tuned for a video with another, with an ex-blade, Curtis Woodhouse, who's done the managers at home with us and he's given his reaction to the news as well. We're here today with Charlie from Betting Odds. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Jake. You okay? Yeah, good. Thanks. Well, just in surprise, to be honest, are you are you shocked as well? Um, slightly happy, to be honest. We had a conversation last week um, where there was kind of rumours about Chris Wilder could be going, um, and we looked at the odds. He was twenty five to one, and I said, "Is it worth a punt?" So I had a ten on it. So um, yeah, I'm happy about that. But what's what's your reaction to it? He's he's been a great manager, hasn't he? I'm, I'm gutted, to be honest, and I think Sheffield United fans will be living at your your glee at this, for <laughs> winning a few pounds. But yeah, he, we, all, we of course met him, went to see him uh, last year uh, for In The Manager's Office. What a brilliant man. Absolutely love him. Love his man management, his tactical innovation, his, his humour as well. What he's done for Sheffield United is, is absolutely amazing. I was hoping he'd stay on and sort of replicate what Fark's doing at Norwich and Dyche is doing at Burnley. And if they do go down Sheffield United, get them back in into the Premier League. But that's looks like it's not going to happen now. And we've got Paul Heckingbottom, the under 23s manager, installed as the early favourite. He's uh, did a really good job at Barnsley, got them into the championship and won the uh, paint trophy as well. The paint trophy. Didn't do too well at Leeds. He's since managed Hibs as well, but he's already at the club. So I don't know whether he'd get it full time. I can see him being there until the end of the season, but whether he's got the sort of the star power to go on and manage them, I'm not too sure. What are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, to be honest, I don't know too much about, about him. Uh, like you said, he did do a good job at Barnsley. Um, on the initial reaction, what I've seen on social this, this morning is Sheffield United fans would not be happy with his appointment. Well, I think Sheffield United fans are just in a bit of mourning, really. Uh, similar to the reaction when uh, Pochettino left, left Tottenham. So, yeah, I'm not too sure about this one, but when you go further down the list, there's some more interesting names which might um, excite Sheffield Blades fans a bit more. One of which is Eddie Howe. He's hovering around the 8-1 to one mark at the moment. Did a similar job with Bournemouth to what Wilder did at Sheffield United, of course. Took them from uh, the EFL into the Premier League. He's been out of work for uh, about a uh, since August, wasn't it? Since around the summertime. Uh, after leaving Bournemouth, he's been linked with so many jobs. We've said before on this uh, this show that we think he he'd target a move back to the Premier League or maybe even Celtic. Nothing's really happened there yet. Um, I would I think it'd be an attractive option for both parties. This one, what do you reckon? Do you think because he has got the credentials of keeping Bournemouth in the Premier League for five seasons, that that's something that the owners might look to and. That's what they want to do. But then again, they're not in the, it doesn't look like they're going to be in the Premier League next season. So they need to guarantee to get straight back up. Um, he has proven he's done that before. Um, it's an interesting one, but I, I could see this happening. And eight to one at the moment, if you fancy that, it could be, it could be a decent price. Another young English manager, Frank Lampard, of course, he hasn't got half the experience of uh, Eddie Howe, but he has had... Two jobs already. Derby, decent first season in the Championship, got to the playoff final, couldn't quite get them up. Instantly propelled into the hot seat at Chelsea, which is a very scorching hot seat. Um, I thought he did a decent job there. I was, I was surprised when he left, but obviously it's proved to be a good decision for the club now. Thomas Tuchel's got them got them flying back. But Frank Lampard at Sheffield United, I, he's around 10 to 1 at the moment. It, I think it would be this sort of big name that that maybe the owners who are making their first appointment would want. But whether he has the experience, I'm not too sure. What do you reckon? I just think looking at the Chelsea team now under Tuchel versus under Lampard shows the sort of difference in experience and quality of manager. And again, let's not be too harsh on Lampard. What, how many years has he been in management? Three. He did do pretty well at Derby, got him to the playoff. Um, again, he's he's got that mentality and... He's a big name. He knows what it takes to win. So just like Eddie Howe, I think it'd be a bit more riskier than Eddie Howe. But um, again, he, he knows what standards he needs to set. He's done it at Chelsea, worked with world-class players, played, you could, he would have a few connections, which might be 
another attractive um, perk for one of the owners to bring in. So again, I can see it happen. I can see it happening. Yeah. We're quite biased with this one, but we're both big fans of the Cowley brothers who not more guys have been linked with so many jobs. Uh, they've been close to getting a couple, you think, but they're around 14 to one for the Sheffield United job. They're known for getting in, creating a fighting spirit, getting in amongst the community as well. Very passionate, determined, great work ethic. Um, can you see them cropping up at Bramall Lane? No, I'm surprised to see them so high up in the betting, to be honest. But yeah, massive fan of Danny and Nicky Cowley. What they've done at Lincoln was incredible. I think you see a few people saying they didn't do a good job at Huddersfield, but Huddersfield rock bottom when they took over and they kept them up um, pretty comfortably in the end. If they if they managed to get the job, it'd be, it'd be great for them. Um, again, a risk for Sheffield United, but big fa big big fans of them. But I can't really I can't really see it happening. I, what more surprises me when I'm looking at the betting is to see Neil Lennon in an eight to one. Um, recently left his position at, at Celtic. Um, let's let's not forget about what he did do at Celtic, um, which you could probably know more about, but. Are you surprised to see his name so far up? And do you think he'd be a good appointment? Brilliant job at Celtic up until this season. But what you've got to remember is he did a bit of a shocking job at Bolton all those years ago. So everyone deserves a, another chance, I guess, in, in English football. But memories of Bolton fans, he did do too well there. He did the right with Hibs when he went there after Celtic. Um, but I can't see him getting this one. One name I really do like the look of he's one of my managers of the season this year it's Valerian Ishmael at Barnsley 20 to 1 he's absolutely brilliant he's only over across the road in Yorkshire he's got them Barnsley flying it's pressing football it's great to watch um, this will probably depend on what happens at Barnsley this season if they get that miracle promotion to the Premier League there's absolutely no chance he's stepped down to the Championship he probably could get another, a top job maybe but yeah if they don't quite make it, then come the summer, Ishmael to uh, to Sheffield United, that would be a great move. But Barney fans uh, won't like me for that one. Yeah, no, I'm a massive fan. I thought I was a really big fan of uh, Gerd Stuber. Um, when he was in Barnsley, the football they were playing, the heroics on the final day um, to keep him up, to stop Brentford going up and his sort of high pressing. And uh, the new manager's come in and done exactly the same. And that's one thing that Chris Wilder did at Sheffield United was his sort of revolutionary football, the, the the wing backs undercutting and overcutting and really bringing that new style. So that's a great shout, Jack. I don't, I don't think that's bad. And one name that I've just had a look at, and I don't know too much about the owners, I don't know if you know a bit more, but Slavan Bilic uh, took, took West Brom up, was it in his first season as their manager? Um, he even got some decent results in the Premier League. I think he drew at the Etihad and a lot saying West Brom have gone backwards since they've, they've got rid of him, but He's proven that he can get him up. He's got pedigree. Croatia ran it previously. Um, he's a name. Who, who, he's a name. What do you reckon? Yeah, um, I thought it was shocking how he was um, sacked from West Brom, especially after such a great performance against Man City. Um, and they've obviously not not done much since West Brom under Sam Allardyce. But Slavin Bilic has actually got another job already. He's over in China at Beijing. Uh, Guan. I, I can't pronounce this one. Juan. Uh, we just say Beijing for now. Um, but yeah, uh, could he come back so so soon after taking charge? Uh, I'm not sure. He has the has the pedigree, that's for sure. Um, other names here, we've got John Terry waiting for his first job. He's around the 20 to 1 mark. Mark Hughes is also at 20 to 1. I'm not too sure if if he'll be getting the job. Steve Bruce as well. Like, could he leave Newcastle in the summer? Um, obviously managed the... Uh, Sheffield Wednesday uh, quite recently, so I'm not too sure. Uh, Derek McInnes left Aberdeen. He's around the 20 to 1 mark. Uh, and then it's Sol Campbell, 25 to 1 <laughs> as well. What about any of those, Charlie? Not really. Um, I think what, what we've discussed, I think Eddie Howe, Frank Lampard. Um, yeah, and I really, I, really like, I really like these sort of alternative suggestions with the Barnsley manager. I don't want to butcher his name, so I'm going to say it. Um, but they they look they look a good price. I mean, just to wrap up this video, and you touched on we done the manager we gave Chris Wilder our manager of the decade. Um, where do you see him? What would be a good next job for him? I mean, surely he's going to have loads of takers. He's going to have 
plenty of takers top of the list i think celtic should be doing absolutely everything to get him he's shot into the three to one favorite as we speak but uh that market's been really open hasn't it since it uh opened up a few weeks ago but chris wilder is chef for united definitely I, I can see it working out as well he have a little bit of rest until the summer um and then an appointment happening then um if not, um, depending what happens to Steve Bruce at Newcastle, I think Newcastle could be a great shout. He's 50 to 1 to that. Um, otherwise, if Gareth Southgate has a bit of a nightmare um, this summer at England, he's 25 to 1, which is quite a juicy price, actually, to be the next England manager. I, for one, would, well, I like what Southgate's doing, but if something did happen, I think Chris Wilder would probably be top of my list. I don't know if you've got the odds, but Crystal Palace. I know Roy Hodgson hasn't signed. Well, we don't know about a contract if he's going to be staying. Um, that's one thing that we're not sure if Crystal Palace, if they replace him, do they want to change that style of football into something that's a bit more attractive? But Chris Wilder has proved he can do that. Um, do you think? Do you think he will get another Premier League job? I think Crystal Palace is a really good shout. Yeah, it completely escaped my mind with Hodgson probably going. We're not too sure, but we imagine he'll be going this summer. I think Chris Wilder at um, Crystal Palace, yeah. The other contenders for that job would be names we've already mentioned, like Frank Lampard, Eddie Howe, John Terry, maybe even Sean Dyche from Burnley. Uh, another one to mention here is Wilder's also 16 to 1 for Aberdeen. Uh, they've just got rid of Derek McInnes after, I think it was like eight years he, he was there. Um, but if he's going to Scotland, I'll, I'll probably say Celtic, yeah. Hopefully, um, Watford could. The revolving door might go around at Watford and he could be in for a shout because I would take him any day of the week. Oh, fantastic. Cheers, Charlie. Nice one. Cheers, Jack.